Welcome to the latest in VBDX Medical. It's been a while, but I've been busy. What I have added is a uh, screen to scan and import and save to PDF uh, documents, which is an important part of any practice medical uh, system. It's the document managing system. So I've created a form. And I have to say thank you very much to MKA Soft who uh, developed the scanning um, code which this program uses and I've linked uh, to him on my website and uh, it's fantastic. There's nothing else like it on the web uh, for controlling Twain devices with Visual Basic. Uh, he's the person to go to and he's been very generous in sharing his code with us. Now I've created a form. It's got a uh, area here in which the scanned images is, are stored and an image uh, area on the left which uh, is in a large version of those images. So we are going to head, go ahead and scan some documents. The MKA soft program allows access to your scanner. In my case it's a Canon multi-function device with a scanner. We've set our settings to grayscale, but they can be anything, and we're going to scan three pages. Scanning is underway now. The pages are added. Slowly. This is typical scanner speed though. And once complete, the scanning software interface is closed. And thumbnails of the scanned documents are now shown in the screen uh, on the left side within a large version on the right side. So we can select different images and in this case this one is upside down so we can rotate it the correct way up. Sorting of images is underway. It's not too hard but I just haven't done it yet. Obviously you can rate, rotate in various directions. Once you've got your scanned images selected, uh, sorry, uh, arranged and appropriate, you can either select all of them some of them and you can print them. Uh, in this case we'll print selected and this is through the uh, Dev Express software and we've now got our two pages and we can uh, email them as PDF file, image file, we can save them as PDF or image file, we can set security passwords, we can change the image quality. Um, uh, obviously we can print them, so there are a number of uh, different options including adding a watermark, but we're not going to do any of that. There is also an option to either delete selected or delete all but if you've got images in this case JPEG images uh, in a directory we can load all those images from that specific directory. Uh, we've enlarged the screen here so you can see we've got 420 21 images and the printing's pretty uh, pretty quick so if we print um, all of these save to PDF it takes uh, seconds only and if we select print all we can see that again the, the, the printing regimes are really really quick it's very impressive. The documents can then be uh, saved to whatever file path you want and eventually they'll be linked to the record section. I haven't done that yet but that's uh, not too hard. So there it goes. Scanning, loading from directory, conversion to PDF, printing to whatever printer you want. You can also actually uh, in the uh, printing save it 
to whatever other image format you want. Uh, in this case, uh, correction, export document as an image file, and it uh, will export it to bitmap. WMF, GIF, JPEG, PNG, or even TIFF, which is quite a handy format as well. But I've chosen the P, uh, sorry, PDF format for saving my documents. There aren't many programs which can do all this, and uh, I was quite pleased when it all came together. Thanks.